Hello everyone. Do you like my hair? I'm calling it pineapple chic. Anyway, hello there everyone. Hello there, Isabel. It's like a teacher calling a class. Right now on Pepper, it is 12, 10 p.m. on Monday. Hmm, there isn't, there really isn't. I don't know why I have such a hard time reading this when it's the exact same thing every time. There really isn't any news to speak of today, but the latest copy of my favorite magazine arrived today. I'm looking forward to reading it later. I'm like torn. Is is Isabel like a, a preteen or is she like a 35 year old lady? Like Jenna Marble style. Ooh, I got my little outfit on from last night. I like how I just whip out a, a random uh, balloon. That's so funny. So this evening or this afternoon, I guess, I was thinking about kind of upgrading my campsite a little bit. As you can see, I do have a couple of bushes that I pre-built a while ago. All of my trees have also grown and I got a couple of stones in the space. So that's kind of cool. I do have to clean the space up a little bit. I kind of left it to ravage on its own. I'm not used to so many of these types of trees being around here. I definitely want to kind of woodland the space up a little bit. If you know what I'm, if you're catching my drift, I also kind of want to find out where I want to put my ramp, specifically in this area. So I think what I'm going to do today is maybe sell a couple of fruits um, just so I can afford to buy a new ramp. I haven't really been focusing on my bells. I'm kind of running out of money, so that's an issue. If anybody wants to be my Animal Crossing uh, sugar parent, I would be more than willing to do that. Possibly Tom Nook. So yes, we're doing another Yukata. Me. And this one isn't really, <laughs> this one isn't really, I mean, Really anything, if you want it to be, can be related to whatever you're doing that day. This one's sort of related in like the outdoorsy theme. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Ooh, yay. I love when people have a lot of things on this space here. Okay, so they have like a Zucker poster, an Octavian to uh, toaster. Poster, something for waffles, uh, touch free, take free, a pink tile, a couple of tiles. Uh, but yes, on to the designer of the day's clothes. They seem to have a lot of cute things. Oh, they have like a Kirby cake. That's so cute. I love me some Kirby. Oh, what's this? Oh, so they have a cute outfit here in pink and blue. That's awesome. And they seem to have a lot of like desserts and foods in the form of hats, which is very common to do here. Uh, that's really nice. But I'm here, of course, for the Yucatas. So I have this brown one, or they have this brown one, which has paw prints in the back. <laughs> How cute is that? And a little tail. I love it. And a little like surprise Pikachu face in the front of the bear. And they also have a pink version, which you know me and the color pink. I don't know why, but in games, I'm just obsessed with it. So I'm going to, I'm going to take that one. So yeah, it is kind of outdoorsy, you know, bears exist in the outdoors mostly. So yeah, this is the creator of the day and this is their creator code if you want to check them out. I highly recommend it. They have a lot of cool stuff, especially if you're looking for food to put on your uh, stalls or whatever. Ooh, okay, this looks so cute. And also for the hair, I know I usually do one of the like hair designs that you can get just so you guys can like look like me if you want. But I think today I'm gonna go for this bun wig. I know I have already this bun wig at home, but I don't wanna go and get it. So I'm gonna buy this one and wear it. I think the bun wigs are easily some of the cutest things in the game. Look how cute that is. Ah! I'm gonna use my shovel and let's decide which ones I want to get rid of. So I do like the fact that this, like, I like it to look a little bit crowded, if that makes sense. Hi, ketchup. Are you using my little, oh, my little thingies? Oh, are you having a little stroll through the forest? I don't think I like it when it's too symmetrical like this. I do prefer the kind of vibe that these three trees have going on, if you're catching my vibe. So yeah, I kind of like this kind of five star pattern happening because then it's like not too even where it's like this is an oddly, like it was meant to be made like that. I do like the look of when the trees kind of cloud your view of where things are. So I'm gonna try to do that as much as possible. So yeah, these are a pretty, this is a pretty good plot of land. Oh God, did I wake up ketchup? Holy moly, what are her eyes doing right now? Is she okay? <laughs> that was so creepy. You good ketchup? See, it kind of makes it look way more foresty here. Yes, this is the type of closeness that I want. 
Give me more trees. Wherever I have uh, free space, when I do move these trees, I'm probably just gonna plant more of the cedar saplings and wait for those to grow. And then just kind of rinse and repeat until I get, you know, the amount of trees that I want. Yes, this is the aesthetic I was looking for. Yes, it is so great. And now to move the bushes. I love how easily these ones. Bloop. Remember when bushes were new? Good times. Good times. Good exciting times. We've come so far. Now we have swimming. We have balloons. We have fireworks. We have dreams. All right, I guess no more bushes. We have three more bushes left, but I think this should be good for the amount of trees that I have right now. So I think I definitely want to plant. These are the pink camellia bushes, and I think they'll look really nice when they're all done. If they're all done up. So I gotta look really carefully to make sure that I put them in the right spot, right? And I want one here. I don't want nobody to accidentally come through the, the tree area. I want them to purposely go through the pattern that is set out for them. No! <laughs> Wrong area. Shoot. Uh, the only thing is that I might have to change the location of this tree because if I do do, uh -huh, if I do the ramp, it's going to be two spaces wide. So I'm thinking this space right here, I'm going to cut down. So I won't focus too heavily on the bushes in that space. Um, another thing I, I might just, instead of bushes, I'll probably put something else also just to like, you know, enhance the space even more. Like an item of some sort or like a tree stump, you know? Theater saplings. I would like... Ah! <laughs> That's not what I meant at all. Again, they look like weird Pokemon when they're saplings. You know what they look like? They remind me of mini pseudo wudos. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but here's a picture if you don't. It's like this weird Pokemon that used to haunt me in my dreams. Okay, and this is stage two of our campsite. We added some bushes, we added some trees, uh, some new trees we planted and like kind of made our own little foresty spot here. I'm really excited with how this is turning out. It only took maybe like a couple of days after I planted them. Um, so I'm really happy with how it's turning out right now. I'm still not sure on how I'm going to dissect or how I'm going to divvy up where the garden starts. Maybe I'll put some hedges. Hedges seem to do the trick no matter where I'm at. Maybe move this campsite in a little bit. Maybe remove this big wood table for some reason. But yeah, that's going to be the next step. So tune in for that. Make sure that you're following hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this i post every single day obviously not about the campsite but you know about like my library area or like my town area that i'm currently in progress making and i will see you guys in the next one don't forget to check out the designer of the day and that's going to be it from me i will see you guys tomorrow bye